Today's video is on jet transforms. In today's video, we are going to explain inverse jet transforms using partial fractions. The question here is, we have to find out z inverse of z square plus z by z minus 1 whole square. So, in the solution, first of all, I am taking f of z is equal to, see here, f of z here is z square plus z by, this is z minus 1 whole square. First thing is, I am taking z common from this. So, this will be z plus 1 by, this is z minus 1 whole square. So, I am sending this z to other side, that is, f of z by z is nothing but this is z plus 1 by z minus 1 whole square and now i have to resolve into partial fractions therefore f of z by z can be written as a by z minus 1 power 1 and next b by z minus 1 square so now i have to find out the values of a as well as b so as you know that if you see this one, that is z plus 1 by, see here, z plus 1 by z minus 1 whole square is equal to, this is a by z minus 1 plus b by z minus 1 whole square. In order to get the values of a and b, see, this is z plus 1 by z minus 1 whole square and this is also z minus 1 whole square LCM, that is a times of z minus 1 plus b. Now, I will cancel these two and therefore, z plus 1 is equal to a by, this is z minus 1 plus b. So, if I put z is equal to 1 here, so if I put z is equal to 1, see here, a will become 0 and therefore, we will get the value of b. So, this will be 1 plus 1. So, this is 1 plus 1, this is 0 and this value is b and therefore, our b value is equal to 2 and next one is there any substitution no so i am comparing z terms on both sides compare z coefficients on both sides compare z coefficients on both sides here this is 1 therefore 1 is equal to so here z coefficient is nothing but a clearly we got a is equal to 1 so after getting a is equal to 1 and b is equal to 2 here. So, now I am going to substitute the values of a as well as b. Now, see here, it is very clear that a value is equal to 1 and b value is equal to 2. Now, I am going to substitute in this partial fractions that is f of z is equal to. See here, f of z by z is equal to, what is our a value here? 1 by z minus 1 and what is the b value here that is 2 by this is z minus 1 whole square clear and now if i send z to other side so f of z value is equal to this is z by z minus 1 and this value is 2z by z minus 1 whole square now if i take z inverse on both sides so z inverse of f of z is equal to, see here, this is z inverse of z by z minus 1 plus 2z by z minus 1 whole square. And see, therefore, z inverse of f of z value is equal to, this value is z inverse of z by z minus 1. And if I take 2 outside, this will be z inverse of z by z minus 1 whole square clear and therefore I, let me tell you one thing so here if you see z transform of a power n is nothing but a by z minus a clearly if i send z to other side so this will be z inverse of z by z minus a is equal to a power n for this and for this see here i am showing you z of n is equal to the formula here is z by z minus 1 whole square. If I send z to other side, so this will be z inverse of z by z minus 1 whole square is nothing but n. See here n. So this is a power n. Now if I substitute here, then this will be so z inverse of 
so this is z inverse of f of z value is equal to z inverse of z by z minus a value is a par n so a value is 1 so this is 1 par n this is 2 times of z by z minus 1 whole square value is n so this value is n and see z inverse of what is our f of z so the question itself is f of z so f of z value is nothing but z square plus z by this is z minus 1 whole square so this value is 1 power 1 plus 2n and therefore our final answer that is z inverse of z square plus z by z minus 1 whole square value is nothing but 1 plus 2n so this is how we have to solve thank you so much for watching so if you really understand please pass it on to your friends